For untold millennia, the great rainforests of Central America have been kept alive by one of the tiniest and least understood of creatures. But now, their fragile world has been invaded by an alien species from Africa, the result of a scientific experiment gone horribly wrong. One man, entomologist David Rubick, believes these imported African bees are edging out the native honeybees and damaging the rainforest. He's searching for evidence. At stake here is the future of the rainforest of America. It's the heart and soul of the rainforest lays in its pollinators and the things that make all the plants reproduce. It all started in Brazil in 1957. Scientists were studying an aggressive type of bee from Africa when a few of them escaped. It was a mistake that would have enormous consequences. The African bees proved extremely adaptable to their new home, their numbers soared, and they formed voracious swarms that spread throughout South America and up to the southwestern United States. Easily agitated and quick to attack, they were dubbed killer bees, known to sting humans to death. Swarms react faster than other honeybees and have been known to chase victims for a quarter of a mile. But Rubik says they pose a far greater threat to the fragile rainforest than they do to people. So this is one of the millions. Uh, these bees have done something no other bee ever did. These things have sucked up most of the resources that are out there for bees and for other animals too, not just bees visit flowers for food. Birds, bats, butterflies, other things take the same food. And it's not just here and there, it's, it's really everywhere. All the vast forest areas we think of as absolute wildlife preserves have been violated by this bee. This bee doesn't belong in any of them. It lives in all of them. It's, it's not going to go away. Can native South American honeybees survive the onslaught of their killer cousins? Abandoned native bee nest suggest it's a losing battle. The disturbing reality is that it is not a natural part of this community, yet it has become part of nature. And ironically, man has put it there, but man can't take it away. No one knows if the native bees will survive the alien onslaught or ultimately perish. But Rubik intends to continue monitoring the fate of this little native that's been a staple of the rainforest since the time of the ancients.